Before we activate and register Cubase AI, let's install it. On the Mac, insert the Cubase AI DVD and double-click to open its contents. Double-click on Cubase AI 4 for Mac OS. Then double-click on Cubase AI 4. Follow the on-screen instructions to continue with the install. Once Cubase AI is installed, we need to look for it in the Applications folder. Double-click on the Macintosh HD icon on the desktop. Then double-click the Applications folder. Scroll down until you find Cubase AI and double-click on it. You're able to run Cubase AI without registering it for a short while or until you've started the application more than 300 times. You can simply click Remind Me Later and register the software at a more convenient time, or click Register Now to become registered and permanently receive your activation key to run Cubase AI without limitation. Click Register Now. Cubase AI will close, and your web browser will open to Steinbrigg's activation and registration page. Feel free to read the text on this page, but we'll be walking you through everything to get you activated and registered. Scroll down to where it says, Start Cubase AI Activation Now, and click the link. We need to create an account on the Steinberg website so we can receive our activation code. Click Create User Account on the left-hand side. Scroll down and select the country that you live in and click Next. Fill in the fields and when you're done, scroll down and click Create Account Now. A confirmation email will be sent to the email address that you used in the previous screen. Open up your email program and click the link at the bottom of the email to activate your account. This will open up a web browser again and automatically activate your account. You are taken to the My Steinberg page of the Steinberg website that allows you to log into your account. As a side note, if you ever want to return to this page, you can simply type www.steinberg.net and click the My Steinberg link. Scroll down and under Customer Login, type in your username and password that you use to create your account. Click Login. Scroll down to the Activation and Reactivation section. This is where we're going to request our activation code. Click More. Since we're using Cubase AI, we need to click More under Cubase AI. We are prompted with two more options. Normally, you will choose Permanent Activation, as this will give us a permanent activation key so we can use Cubase AI without limitation. You may, however, need to choose Reactivation if you need to reinstall Cubase AI after a hard disk crash or if you've bought a new computer. Click on More under Permanent Activation. Now all we need to do is copy the number from our License Control Center and enter it in here. Then click Request Activation Code. So let's get the number by double-clicking on the Macintosh HD on our desktop and navigate to the Applications folder. Scroll down until you find License Control Center and double-click on it. This program was installed when you installed Cubase AI. It's this soft e-license number that we need to enter in down here. We can copy the number by selecting Copy Soft e-license number from the Edit menu. Then we can go to our web browser and paste the number in. Unfortunately, we only get half the number pasted in. A little trick is to move the License Control Center window over a bit so we can still see the other half of the number. Now let's type in the rest. Click Request Activation Code. An email with the activation code will be sent to your email address, so open up your email program to receive the code. Open up the email message and copy the activation code. Go back to the License Control Center and under the Wizards menu, choose License Download. 
Click the Next button and click in the first box under Activation Code. You can paste the activation code and it will fill the boxes automatically. Now press Enter. The Cubase AI4 license will appear in the box below. Click the Next button and then click Start to download the Cubase AI license to your computer. You will now see that the Cubase AI license is permanently stored on your computer. Click OK. If you look at the License Control Center, you will still see the Cubase AI demo license that will expire shortly or after 300 starts. But you will also see the new license that you've just downloaded, permanently stored on your computer. Close the License Control Center, and now let's open Cubase AI. Navigate back to the Applications folder on your computer and choose Cubase AI. You can create a new project from the file menu and begin using Cubase AI. Or try copying the demo project off the installation DVD to your desktop and see Cubase AI in action.